channel is Miss Tay Rose. Now, this video is going to be a second video that features only one makeup brand, and the brand that I will be featuring for you today is drumroll, please. The Makeup Revolution London. So, I mean, if you haven't already, I already did one one brand video and I'm going to place that in the cards above so, I mean with this video I'm only going to dedicate it to the makeup revolution London products that I purchased I mean I am familiar with makeup revolution London because I already have a couple of pals from them but this time around I decided to buy more products from them instead of just the palette so I mean if you like to see how I do my face from start to finish using only some Makeup Revolution London products, then keep watching. So the first product I'm going to delve into is the Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. Now this was hyped as of last year. I got this in the shade F12. It was difficult at one point for me to find my foundation shade per usual, but I think I found something that's close to it. We're going to see momentarily. Now there's a couple paragraphs with, it says that it's lightweight yet buildable, and there's 50, yes, 50 skin true shades and says this is um to suit every skin type and tone which does make sense because there's 50 shades in there and says it is oil free yet creamy and comfortable formula that dries down to a long lasting demi matte finish and I love a matte foundation because I mostly have oily skin especially on the top part of my face not cool and says it won't settle into fine lines or cling to dry patches which is also perfect because I too have dry skin which makes me a combination skin gal and now it says housed in a luxe glass bottle with a jumbo doe foot applicator for greater control and less waste this foundation offers highly promoted or pigmented coverage that can be layered or diffused to suit your look all right so that's good man. I like how it says so far that it has a doe applicator because what I've had so far is is just like the pump bottles and I think me having adult applicator would be good so it'll be interesting to see how that is it says um ramp ramp up the coverage for a real skin finish that diffuses blemishes and uneven skin tone oh my gosh so yeah this is a big applicator <laughs> but i like that though because then this will help me to monitor how much i apply and it smells really good you can tell it's not oil free because it has that oily smell this doesn't it almost smells like alcohol like rubbing alcohol if you know what I mean and I hear too that this foundation is the dupe to Tarte Shape Tape foundation because that also just got released not too long ago okay so I'm gonna first swatch F12 on my um, hand just so you see how it is so it does feel smooth and this applicator feels really smooth too so it's not rough it won't be rough on the face so this is F12 on the top part of my hand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch on Honey and Suede because those are my two top favorite foundations. You have um Honey and then you have F12. Honey is more has more of a golden undertone versus F12 by Makeup Revolution where you don't have that golden undertone. This bottom part is um Suede by e.l.f. which this too has like, like a golden but a yellow undertone. Honey has a golden and a red undertone, and then F12, it kind of reminds me of Hunt or um, Almond that I ordered by e.l.f., but I won't know until I try it on. So I am a medium to tan um, skin tone, but then I have like a golden undertone, but then I also have a red undertone. So I mean, with me finding my foundation shades, it gets very tricky, you know? Okay, so now I'm just going to put F12, the Makeup Revolution, on my face. And what I'm going to do, and I know I already um, put out a foundation routine that I do for filming, but what I'm gonna do, because it's kind of like a stick, is I'm gonna like swatch it down. I think I might swatch it down twice instead of three times, knowing the undertone that I'm working with. So this is it. Okay. So that is it against my um face so far. So I'm just gonna stick with those two swatches, and this is easily controlled. I do like that. <gasps> my hair. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna move my hair back. Okay, so I mean, this is it so far. So this is what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm hoping that this deoxidizes, but let's see. Yeah, 
lightly so i can say that this is light by far <laughs> So, I mean, I can say that it does kind of blend in with my own skin. I just gotta track that underneath my neck so that way it's blending 100%. that so far it matches my forehead which I use a separate foundation so I mean I can say so far it's looking good so I mean I have high so I mean, I'm having hope so far for this okay and this is just me using a foundation brush if you know me you already know that I don't like brush strokes and let me see so I mean there's minimal brush strokes but I think it's because of the amount that I already applied but I'm still going with my beauty blending sponge and tap that out this looks much better so the blendability is really good and it actually does I mean it does wonders I me mean, it does blend out it blends out pretty well my ratings for the video will be this section of the second product or products that I bought is a concealer but I bought not one but two shades and this is the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage conceal and contour concealer and this I got in C10 and a half and C9 and a half because they both were similar to what I've used in the past. I did used to wear C12, but that was too dark for me. So I used to use that for tracing out or carving out my brows to say it at least. It says ageless, unisex, affordable, yours, which is very true because this concealer is for $7. And I forgot to tell the price for the foundation. That's going to be in the description box below. But I mean, it says Makeup Revolution's Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer is to conceal it for everyone. According to Makeup Revolution, multiple shades ranging from fair to deep in a range of undertones, which that is true as well. A lightweight yet full coverage concealer to cover blemishes, even skin tone, and counteract dark circles. So, I mean, I'm kind of getting the vibe that it's like the Maybelline Avery Wine concealer in it and I have the shade golden so I'm kind of getting that vibe as well but then I also hear too that this is yet another dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape concealer that Tarte has so I mean if you're someone that wants something that's more affordable but you want to feel like you wear Tarte then get Makeup Revolution okay let me stop embarrassing myself I'm gonna first swatch C9 and a half so all the product comes out at the bottom part so that way this top part doesn't get messy I like that and I like the dough applicator it's so small and I think it's the same formula as the foundation so this is C9 and a half so this one is light but then it has a golden undertone so it's kind of remind me of F12 this is C10 and a half this is weird to me because it's a medium skin tone but then has like a pinkish undertone and I don't have a pink undertone at all so I feel like C10 and a half may be perfect for putting on the top part of my eyes and then C9 and a half on the bottom part of my eyes so this is deep caramel that third concealer swatch this is C9 and a half and this is C10 and a half if I look at this so far I can see that so far, I'm going to be vibing with 9.5 because that reminds me of Deep Caramel all the way. This um, fourth shade is Tan Sand. That's Tan Sand, Deep Caramel versus 10.5 and 9.5. Nine, even, even Tan Sand had a golden undertone versus that 10.5. So I already know I'm not going to use 10.5 a lot. So I might end up bringing that back. This bottom one is golden and this is the Maybelline Adrian Wine concealer at this bottom part this is ten and a half still that pink undertone and oh look the Clinique concealer that I've been that I've had for some time now this is a medium honey and again this is nine and a half so just by the look of my hand I feel like I'm gonna be vibing with 9.5 I keep saying nine and a half but it's 9.5 because I have a gold undertone that I like so that is what I'm going to be using so for my concealer I'll only be using C 9.5 or C nine and a half I'm just gonna put one dot on my eye 
Ooh, yes, I love. Okay, so I love seeing nine and a half. I definitely found my true match. Ooh, I'm so thankful. Oh, I'm so thankful. Like, C10 and a half was just two pinks. I'm just gonna apply one more dot. So I feel like this is unbuildable. And I'm gonna pack that bad boy right on. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm loving this so far. Oh, it feels like McDonald's up in here. Mm, that is full coverage 2.0. Like, I'm gonna even move it up and say full coverage 3.0. Like, I'm loving this so far. Like, I love it. So, I'm just gonna leave my eye like this because me, yeah, I got a concealer on one eye. So, now for my eyes, I bought a third, yes, a third palette by Makeup Revolution London. I already have Division and I already have Velvet Rose, which is a soft glam dupe by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And so, I decided to pick up Provocative. And this is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded palette. It says, the Makeup Revolution Reload palettes are the perfect combination of matte and shimmer shades to take you from day to night. These shades are locked and reloaded. And this is only for the price of $8. So that's really all what it um says. And I can just show you the palette. Like, look at this goodness. Yes, there's a whole lot of goodness in here. And in this palette, I have a similar palette to this. And that's the Norvina palette. But I mean, it's not already... If you want to see any makeup tutorials with purple shimmers or more of this palette, let me know in the comments below. And I'm just going to um delve right into it, shall we? I mean, like I'm feeling like so far I'm feeling everything. I'm so thankful that everything is working out. So we just gonna we gonna work with it and I'm um, just continue to pray that everything is popping. I'm going to be using this shade and this shade together to make a beautiful transition shade. I'm just putting a little at a time so I could build. Oh, I love this. Again, like I've worked with Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes before. I have two of them. This is going to be my um, third one. So, I mean, you already know the vibes I mean, with how I really feel about this one. Now for my crease shade and my outer third shade, I'm going to be dipping into this shade and this shade and just like my transition shade I'm going to build that up and I can tell you that the blendability so far is bomb the blendability is amazing so I mean if you do get any of the palettes by Makeup Revolution, whether it's Velvet Rose or Provocative, I say I say you're going to love it. Now that I've worked through my mattes, I'm going to work through my shimmers with this palette. And I'm going to be delving into... I mean, at first I was so confused because, I mean, like, all these shimmers look so beautiful. And it, I'm going back to my high school days where I love, like, the gold and the bronze shimmers. And so I was trying to decide between this one and this one. But I was confused, so I just decided to place this and this together and that is going to be right here for my eyes and if you haven't tried make revolution too like their shimmers are very creamy so it's easy to pick up on your brush and or your fingers i kind of did not cut crease with this shimmer so i cut my crease using this tiny morphe brush it's like a tiny morphe eyeshadow brush and i just did it as if i were to cut the crease except it's easier when you do it with a shimmer shadow versus when you cut your crease using a concealer i'm proud of how this turned out so i'm gonna go in with my same conceal and define concealer and see nine and a half because this is my new bay now i'm just going to start one dot on the bottom part because i don't want to do too much i want to build it okay so i can say now also too that it has brightened up underneath my eyes and it is lightweight to me. I don't feel anything heavy. If you want like a really bright under eye, you could build it up, but I don't want that. So I'm going to take these same two shades, this one and this one that I use for my transition shade. And I'm going to run that underneath my eyes. Right. And then for the outer third of my bottom lash line, I'm going to delve into this shade and this shade. And I'm going to run that. So, yeah, I was going to do a brow bone highlight, but I'm liking how this is blended out thus far. So I'm just going to stop myself right there. 
And I'm going to delve into, so I'm going to delve into my um, tear ducts. And I want to use something a little lighter. So I'm going to delve into this shade. Before I do my other eye off camera, I'm just going to use a tad bit of the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. And this I got in the shade Banana Deep. So I'm only going to use a little bit to set under my eyes. So my eyes are done and I have on my lashes, which these are a new pair of lashes by Lashes by Giselle. And this is in the style 32. Switching gears to my next product in which I ordered and this is the Makeup Revolution London Ultra Contour Palette. Like yes, 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 yes. According to Makeup Revolution on the Ultra website, they said the complete contour and highlighting palette is here with an exclamation point. The Ultra Contour Palette by Makeup Revolution has eight powders for perfect contour and sculpting with an additional two merged baked highlighters for illumination. Assembled in a large palette with full size mirror so i'm just gonna open this up so i like the sleekness um behind this i mean it's very sleek and sexy look at this goodness oh like look at that that looks amazing to me i think there's three contour sections there's two highlighting shades and to me i see three highlighters so i'm just going to use a contour and highlight from here so i mean i think i'm going to delve into this shade first for my um contour because i mean I, I feel like that would match more with my shade and it goes more with what i usually would wear it kind of gives off like a white cast i don't know oh and i want to give you an update too on the um foundation so i mean it looks like the foundation is somewhat deoxidized but it's not as heavily deoxidized as out so when you do get this foundation you definitely 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 want to get your exact shade or get the closest shade so that way you don't have to worry about if it's too light for you okay so i just wanted to update you on that as well and now as for the concealer my baby the concealer is doing wonders i just want to update you on that it kind of gives off like a little white cast, but I do like how it sculpts, you know? It sculpts right where it needs to, so that way I have a chiseled cheekbone. Oh, I feel like it might have been too dark, but this is the only shade that's perfect for myself. I only um, use like a couple dabs in here also and this is the turn up by far. Now I'm going to contour my nose. Okay, so I'm going to say that this does wonders for my nose, but then when it comes on to my face, it gives off a white cast. Maybe it's the foundation. Who knows at this point. I'm just going to move on because I already contoured my face. And I'm just going to set my face. Okay, so I mean, I have a new product alert with my Makeup Revolution. And this is the Laura Mercier Satin or Translucent Lucent Powder. And this is in the shade Translucent Honey. This is also the rave around YouTube. And I wanted to see what is going on with this. So I mean, I decided to pick it up. And this is $36. I mean, this is the shade that it's in. I'm going to just lightly set my face. And I forgot to tell you too that the Makeup Revolution Contour Pack is $10. I'm just going to pack on only to my contoured areas. And I can say that so far I think this is going to hold well. I mean, I'm just using the Laura Mercier because I don't have a powder by Makeup Revolution, a setting powder that would go with my shade. So I'm just using this instead. I can say that so far it looks like everything is blended well. I got a chase underneath my neck. I also hear too that Laura Mercier they have the translucent com one completely. And I hear that this honey one and the translucent one are similar or the same. So I mean getting two separate shades don't make a difference. My sister's been telling me about this and I can say that so far it works really well. So I mean when the wear test comes later on, let's see. I'm going to now talk about this. Makeup Revolution Conceal and Divine. Divine. Conceal and Define Infinite Mattifying Long Wear Makeup Fixing Spray. And according to this, this is a 16 hour wear. 
On the back part, it says Infinite Hold Long Wear Fix and Spray will set your makeup in place for a flawless matte finish. And it says, and they tell you for best results, hold it 200 centimeters away from face and spray. According to Also's website, it says, Want the ultimate long lasting spray? Look no further than conceal and define infinite mattifying long wear makeup fix and spray. With a massive 16 hour wear, could this be the best setting spray yet? Hmm, could it be? I'll be the one to um, test it out. I'm gonna like, spray it out. I like this part, this is dope. I'm gonna spray it really far because I don't want this to get on my hair. So I'm just gonna use my fancy fan and fan away. So I don't know, I can't describe um, like the smell. I mean, I don't wanna say it smells like um, the old school hairspray gum. Cause I mean, that's not true, but I mean, it smells, it almost smells like a hair product. Time for the highlight. I think I might dove into this highlight shade, just so I'm on the safe side. And I'm just gonna use my same Real Techniques Beauty Blending Sponge. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I really like the baked highlighter so far. So now I'm going to apply my blush off camera and I'll be right back at you with the lip product. Alright, so now the final product that I will be talking about is this Makeup Revolution Matte Lipstick. And this is in Matte Ballerina, or if you really want numbers, is 112. And it says, make it matte with high impact Makeup Revolution Matte Lip. This creamy liquid formula glides on with a precise flocked dough foot applicator for an even, excuse me, for an even ultra finish, ultra matte finish. So their theme is ultra matte, and I'm liking that. Expect rich color that wears all day without cracking up or feeling dry on your lips. Okay, so I should be looking for a saturated formula that's not gonna help my lips to dry or crack up. Ooh, it smells, ooh. I was gonna say it smells good, but it technically smells weird. I'm gonna just be straight up. I don't like the smell, but I do love the color. To me, it feels dry. But this is only for the price of two dollars, the one that I picked up. I'm gonna apply NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie on top of this just to see how it looks. So the technical time is 3:47 p.m. and this is how long I've had on my makeup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear my makeup for some time and then I'm gonna come back at you at the end and I'm going to show you how my face looks. All right, so now the technical time is 10:57 p.m. as you can see right here and this is how my face is looking so I mean I can say that I have my t-zone and I have right near by my nose where it's oily but the everything by makeup revolution has held up a lot you know so I mean I feel like I feel like this may be I repeat, this may be my everyday brand if I were to wear this out because I mean, I'm not too oily and I love that a lot and I think I have I think I'm um, tuned in at 3 and it's 10 o'clock so it's about a 7-8 hour wear. So this is how I would look at the end of the day if I were to have come from work. So I mean, I'm loving it by far. You know, you know the vibes. I mean, Makeup Revolution is definitely it for me. Again, all the ratings of each and every product that I have will be on this section right here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me. Also, comment below which products have you tried. And do not forget to click on this notification bell so that way you are on the alert as to when my videos are out. And that's all I have right now please be sure to check out this previous video in the section that's coming up next and i will see you there bye